Good afternoon, everyone. This is TJ Muleman from Standard Co. with another short MetaBase tutorial. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about how to filter by year in your MetaBase instance. Um, but before we do that, I want to set you up, tease you a little bit for um, the MetaBase 0.42 release that just came out. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, uh, this is a new release that has a bunch of really good features in it um, that we're excited to unpack. And we will be doing that in the next several weeks. So tune in and we'll share with you our thoughts and some hacks that we found and cool stuff with MetaBase 0.42. We're this excited. So as big as the window will let me. But really, we're much bigger, more excited than that. Okay, anyways. How do I filter by year in MetaBase? So this is a question a customer came to us to just recently. And, and this is a sample data set. And they want to just see maybe... 2020 or 2019 data. And I was like, piece of cake, filtering by year, no problem. So I put this data onto a dashboard. And the nice thing about when you put something onto a dashboard is you can filter uh, the dashboard, which cascades across all the questions on that dash. We only have one here, but you get the idea. So to add a filter, you click add a filter right here, this little icon right here, and you pick time. But you'll notice there's a problem. There's searching by month and year, quarter and year, single date, date range, relative date, or all the options. There's no just year search. So first, for my MetaBase friends who are listening and watching this, a year search would be really nice. Um, but in the event that they're not listening, we have to kind of hack our way through this one. And so you could do a date range, right? So theoretically, if you said, show me all 2020 data, you'd say January 1st through December 31st. But that puts the onus on the user, right? The user has to sort of know that, and it's kind of clunky uh, and not the best uh, solution. So what we've done is we figured out a way to do a year search um, through a native SQL query, and let me kind of show you that. Okay, so here we are, real basics uh, um, SQL query that I've got, and I'm going to walk you through this. Okay, so I've got the date. So this is the date that has the year in it from the main table. I added a new table in our data system, standard data, that just has the years in it. So let me show you that really quick. It's a lookup table. Okay. Look at that. So these are the years right here. So step one is to create a lookup table in your backend data system, ours is standard data, um, with just the years in it. So this is going to power your field filter. Okay, so then your second the second thing you need to do is actually join your main data set on that lookup table. And our main data set doesn't split out the year into a separate column. It's all part of the date field. So we had to get a little creative with our join. And we created, so this join is joining on that lookup table right here. And then we're actually formatting the date uh, to just return year, which is basically, let me rerun this query and show you. So the year parsed out. So this is the year from the main table, and this is the year from the lookup table. And you can see that they match because we're doing a join. Um, again, it's a little clunky, and I'll be very clear, a join like this can get expensive if you've got a really big data set. Now, most of us out there aren't working in data sets with millions and tens of millions of rows. Um, but if you are, this is the sort of thing you'd want to do in the background. You'd want to create a new column that splits the year out and puts it into a separate column so that this query doesn't take too long to run. But we don't really have that problem because we're dealing with thousands of records and not tens of millions. So back to the query. So I do this. So now all I need to do to kind of be able to search by year is to add a, fill, a field filter. Okay, where? Okay, and for those unfamiliar with um, variables or, or filtering in MetaBase, you have these little uh, brackets uh, alongside a variable, which basically created this up here. And by default, it's a text search, so I could type anything I wanted to in here, which is not what we want. We want a drop down. So I'll pick field filter, and this isn't a field filter demonstration. There's a whole bunch of other videos we've done on, on how to do field filters. Um, and then you pick your, your table. Okay, so in that case, that was my lookup table, and then the name. Okay, so now I've got 2019. Here's these are the years that are in my lookup table. So I can pick, let's say 2020, add filter, rerun, and voila, I only get 2020. If I want to do 2019, I only get 2019. 
So this is a specific request from a client that they wanted to be able to just sort by year. And it's something that's not by default supported by Metabase, but through some creativity and a little bit of workarounds and using field filters, we were able to solve the problem without having to do any engineering work on the back end. Hopefully this was useful and uh, check in in a couple of weeks. And we'll talk about the latest release of Metabase. Thanks so much.